Jeopardy. Let's meet today's contestants. A landscaper from Sacramento, California. How's it going, guys? This is Cool Boy. Good night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, bro. You on the wrong game show, okay? You on the wrong game show. Yo, what, what up, y'all? It's it's your boy. It's your boy. Very excited to be here. Well, he's very excited. To Shut your ass up. Cool boy, don't talk like that. What's going on, bro? It's your boy. Cool boy conundrum. Let's get it. And we playing. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs> Call me Marvin, cause you know I got a piece of paper. Yeah, bars. Uh. Bars? You might be asking yourself, Oh my god, come on, goodness, why do you think you're smarter than a fifth grade? You're probably stupid as hell, man. You, you idiot. Well, you're not gonna keep talking shit, okay? You're not gonna keep talking that shit. I'm gonna beat your ass. Now, bros, I wanted to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? I don't know why. I just, I'm, I'm in the mood to show my intellectual mentality of the skill set. You hear me, bros? Uh, do you, you hear me? See, my dude is just talking right now, and I don't even know what's going on. I ain't never played Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, but I know I'm damn well smarter than a fifth grader. So I'm getting out of here. All right, we're going to start the game. The idea here is to pick someone listen, listen. smarter than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to do fine. Oh, ooh. Oh, did the homie just say I'm an idiot? Man, the homie Jed, bro. My name is Jed. Hey, hey, I don't know his name, bro. My name is Jeff. He's an asshole, bro, and I'm about to oh beat his God. ass after the game show. We're gonna pick a, a a classmate. Over here. Now, now, Paul. Nah, he look annoying as hell. Paul annoying as hell. Me. Yo, Paul, shut your ass up. Uh, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Melissa. It's you and me, Melissa. It's you and me, Melissa. Come on, uh, come up here. Come on, Melissa. Come up here. Like, like, shut up. Why are my pants tucked in, bro? I don't... Cool boy don't tuck in his pants. Come on, bro. All right, bro. So we're going to do what? We're going to do first grade reading. Okay. Come on. You're Come on. For $1,000. For $1,000. On question. Which word comes first in alphabetical order? Chose. Chicken. Your circus. Share. Already. Okay. Bro, it's chair. Lock in. in. Lock in, Jed. I'm locking in, Jed. I'm, I'm locking in. You got that one right. All ah. right. Let's go. Oh, all right, man. Come on, bro. You've got your first grade. Made up here Read with it. You. Pick a subject. Okay. Okay. Um. Second grade English. Okay. The two thousand dollar question is. How many consonants are in the word yogurt? One, two. One, two. Four. Ha, beat you, Melissa, you, you freaking idiot. Smart enough. Come on, Melissa, hurry up. Jesus, Melissa, take forever. You are now locked in. Come on, come on, give me that. Give me my two you grand. You got $2,000. All right. That's my fucking money. That's my money. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Please pick me. Carrot. Yeah, if you get if you get any of my questions wrong, I'm taking your fucking lunch money. I'm taking that lunch money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You better get the questions right. And if I go down, you better get me up. You've got your classmate up here with you. Damn yeah, right, I do, Jed. Jed. Let's go to astronomy. But I'm always okay. good at the planets and the stars. $5, here is the question. True or false? The orbital period of Halley's comet is. Tara a locked in her answer very quickly. Hey, Kara. Kara, let me. Let me. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me see your answer. No. Nope. Alright, better be true. Let's go, Kara, I you swear. Are now locked in. Kara. Kara? You've got five thousand dollars. You're damn right I got five thousand dollars. Let's go. Uh, your boy is out here stunting Pick on these hoes. Alright, let's go. Let's go fourth grade measurements. Okay. Come on. The ten thousand dollar question is. Which one of the following ancient civilizations did not use? Kara locked in her answer very quickly. Damn, Kara! Kara, let me see your 
Kara. Okay, there it is. Your Kara, answer's locked in. I swear if this in. is wrong. You've got ten thousand dollars. Let's go, Kara. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I ain't never heard of no cubit. I was thinking of the little, the little, the little bead things you slide to the right. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, come on, bro. Uh. Oh, ooh. Jed. It's you and me, Jed. It's you and me, Jed. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Get your stupid ass up here, man. Yeah, get your stupid ass up here. Your mom doesn't love you, man. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, he doesn't know. Got him. You've got your classmate up here with you. Right. Pick a subject. Let's go. First grade health. First grade okay. health. You get this next question right, and you leave with twenty-five thousand dollars. No you matter damn what right happens, I do, the rest of the game. True or false? Allergies can cause you to sneeze. Your classmate is that. locked in already. True. True. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in. Yeah, I might feel good about this one. I know this is the right answer. There you go. You're locked in. Yeah. Yeah. You've got twenty-five thousand dollars. Woohoo! Let's do animal do animal science. Okay. This question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won twenty five thousand dollars. In terms of average weight, what is Jed the largest his answer of very quickly. In the world? Well, considering that the movies taught me that the anaconda can be long. You know the one that Ice Cube played in? I'm locking in, Jet. There you go. You're locked in. You're going for fifty thousand dollars. You've got fifty thousand dollars. Excellent. Y'all think I'm stupid? You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Oh, good one, Jet. <laughs> you idiot, Justin. Cause you know, Paul, it's you have a Justin. stupid shirt on, okay? Why are you wearing that shirt? Who bought that for you, your mama? Got he! <laughs> All right, boy. Let's pick a subject. You you better get this right if I get it wrong. All right, let's go fourth grade science. Let's okay, go. you're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. Damn right, I'm playing for a hundred thousand. I'm here to win. What is that amount of a dissolved substance substance in a solution called? Justin is locked in his answer. It's not a catalyst. It ain't the pH, because pH are the pH levels of acid in the base. Something like that, bro. It's been a while, okay? Uh, concentration. Dissolution! My stupid self. I'm a stupid okay. ass. This is dissolution. In my Let's go. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. No, I'm sorry. Ah! Wow. I was sure about that one, too. Yeah, me too. Swear. Let's see if Boy, your partner can handle this. You better this get one. it right. Ooh, I'm gonna give you the knuckle sandwich if you don't get it right. Nice job by your class. He didn't want that knuckle sandwich. Let's go. Yeah. Y'all think y'all gonna get a cut your of this money? I really know. Uh, your little bastard is not. Time. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much, buddy. You need. Let's pick a subject. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's go third grade social study. You can see that hard one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Please put it on the ten dollar bill. Question, please. Alexander Hamilton, you idiots! Come Locking on. in. Abraham Lincoln on the five. Ben Franklin on the hundred. Thomas. All right, your Wait. answer's locked in. You're going for. One hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. That's mine. Give me that. Give me that. You've got one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. You damn right, bro. Am I about to win? Excellent. I, I'm out of stuff, though. I, I ain't got, I ain't got no enough. You Let's came go. up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Shut up. You're not funny. You're not funny. Don't talk no more. World geography. Let's go. Okay. Fifth grade. The three hundred thousand dollar question is: Which line of longitude is the prime meridian? What line of 
laundry is the prime meridian. Yo, yo, wrong game. Oh, my, my fault, my fault. Wrong game. Oh, my bad, my, my bad. I'm gonna go to zero degrees. Lock that in, zero Locking degrees. In. Zero degrees, it gotta be zero degrees, bro. All right, your answer's locked in. I think it was 180. I'm an idiot. It was You're 180. Going for three hundred thousand dollars. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Cool boys. Are you a smart, motherfucker? Have you just this subject must be your specialty. Woo. Okay. The five hundred thousand dollar question is: Who is the only U.S. president to serve non-consecutive terms? Oh, I don't. I know this, but I don't know. Was it Theodore Roosevelt? Consecutive. Consecutive is it keeps going, so non-consecutive. So it wasn't Theodore Roosevelt. Grover Cleveland never heard of him. Benjamin Harrison never heard of him. Chester Arthur. I ain't got no cheats, boy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Chester Arthur, bro. I feel like that in. I'm locking in, Jeff. Going for it. Going for it. There you go. You're locked in. I'm I'm locked in, baby. You didn't get that one right, but you probably could have taken the fifth grade over again in the time it took you to come up with your answer. You were the shadow to my life. Did you feel us? Show us the correct answer, please. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just flunked out of school. I can't believe what a moron I am. <laughs> now repeat after me. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Do not repeat those. No I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us too. Bye bye right. everybody. I'll, I'll catch you later, bro. I'm gonna be jazzed right after I hit this. Let's go, baby boy. Now, if y'all like what y'all saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and share for your boy, Kuba Kenan. It means a lot. If you dislike the video, please leave a dislike. Still feedback anyway. I'm sorry I haven't been posting up as much, bros. I'm sorry about that, bro. I'm sorry. It's my fault. Cut me some freaking slack. Your boy is hell of smarter than a fifth grader, okay? It, of course. Like, I'm 22, man. I'm not 22, I'm 23. All right, I gotta go. It's too late, and it's past your boy's bedtime, so I will holler, bro. Uh, let's get it.